Have you ever wondered how people get their antennas up in a tree? Stay tuned and I'll show you. You might just learn something today. First things first, my throw line is in this kind of a throw bag. It's in quite a bit larger throw bag. Uh, makes it easier to put the line away. I highly recommend one of these instead of the little bitty bag that these come with. So this just opens by undoing the Velcro strap and unfolding it. And then to get it to pop all the way open, you kind of have to twist a little bit. And it's open. Now inside, I've got my throw weight already connected to my line. And I believe this is a 12 ounce throw weight. And there's a couple different ways, a couple different ways to throw this in the tree. You can do this number and let go right at the right time. Or you can do this number granny style and try and release right at the right time going up and over your head i typically like to do kind of this side this way i seem to be able to get the throw weight a lot higher in the tree sometimes it does take a couple tries to get it up in the tree uh, depending on my aim for the day but uh oh well I just uh, just like this way a lot better. Uh, one thing I do recommend with these throw lines is wearing at least having some kind of glove on your throwing hand because this line can tear up, tear up your hands a little bit. It's got a little bit of a bite. Now you kind of want to position this off to the side and in front of you a little bit and hopefully uh, hopefully I'll be able to get it into the tree on the first try and sometimes it's always nice to get out a little bit of line that way you can position it in a way to where it's not in your way or wrapped around your feet And make sure everything behind you is clear. As you can see, I got it up in the tree, but uh, I'm not real thrilled with the placement, so I'm gonna try it again. Now, the best way to pull your line back through the tree is to untie the weight. I recommend when you tie your weight on not to uh, tie it too tight because it might be a little hard to get undone. And you can very easily just pull this right back through the tree and this line won't get stuck as long as you don't have your throw weight attached to the end of it still. I'm gonna reposition since I kind of threw off to my left a little bit. I'm gonna rotate my body a little bit more to the right and hopefully this will land where I want to in the tree. And as you can see, I've got it up in the tree and I picked up a small knot. But this stuff is normally pretty easy to unknot, so it's not that big a deal. And it's already out. 
Let's go see if that will work. That looks like, that looks like that'll work for my antenna placement. Now, all, you, all I need to do is walk over there and take the throw weight off, attach my antenna to that line, hoist it up in the air, and tie the other end off to probably this, uh, this down tree right here will work. So now that we've got the throw rope in the tree, got to untie the weight and tie the end of the antenna onto it. Or tie the end of the antenna onto the end of the rope. Go ahead and throw the throw weight in your pocket so you don't lose it. Uh, the antenna today I'm using is a uh, 40 through 10 end fed half wave. This is a very similar design to the uh, KM4 ACK end fed half wave. Just happens to be one that I built myself. And you want to, on your rope, you want to tie, either tie off to the end of your antenna, but since I already have a carabiner, I'm just going to tie a loop, a quick loop in the end of my rope and clip my antenna to it. Just like so. And now I've got to go back to the other end of the rope and pull it up through the tree. But first, it's always a good idea to take your antenna and at least unwind it along the ground. That way you're not uh, pulling your antenna, uh, that way you don't accidentally pull your antenna up in the air out of, out, of, uh, out of your reach. That would be a very bad day. And once it's all unwound, I would recommend attaching the end of this to something that's not going to move. That way you don't end up pulling this along the ground and getting mud or dirt in your SO239 or BNC connector, whatever you've got on the end of your, of your antenna. And I'm just going to take this and just loop it around the picnic table and just put a quick knot in it. Just like so. Now we've just got to pull the antenna, pull this rope back, find something to secure it to, and uh, our antenna is up in the air. There might be a little bit of final placement that we've got to figure out on the other end, but uh, at least one end of the antenna would be up in the air. One thing I do recommend is not to run your wire actually into the tree. Some trees, if they have a lot of moisture inside of them, can actually interact with your antenna and it might mess with the resonance and give you a really high SWR when you go to hook it up to your radio. And that'll leave you scratching your head a little bit. And I've been there and done that. It's not fun. It can ruin a perfectly good activation. All I'm going to do is just make a couple quick loops around this down, uh, down tree, and that should hold it in place just fine.
And I'm gonna go ahead and put away any excess throw line back into my box. And that should be good. We don't want anybody tripping on that end of it. And now we've got to set up the other end of the antenna. Because from what I'm looking at, it looks like uh, I've got quite a bit of slack. I should have probably picked a tree a little bit further away, but oh well. Now I'm going to take my antenna and stretch it out a little bit and see just get it to where it's not drooping and the antenna wire itself is not touching the ground. Now this grill is about the right spot. I won't be able to make it to the tree behind me, but this grill will work just fine. Now the antenna wire can have some droop in it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna affect it that much. And that is how you put, uh, put an antenna in a tree with an arborist throw line. Now I'm gonna get my radio out, set, uh, finish setting it up, hook it up to my battery and operate for the day and activate the spark. You can do the same thing. You can use the same throw line method for an in-fed half wave, which is what I set up today. You can do that with a dipole you either, you're either gonna have to use two or three trees, depending on how heavy the center section of your dipole is. But uh, from what I've found, I, I do enjoy using an in-fed halfway for photo activations, just because it's the easiest thing to set up, especially if there's a lot of trees around. I only have to throw the line in the tree once, and not twice or three times. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, put them in the comments below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. If you like this kind of content, also let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.